Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a really fun tag. It is a new tag that I will explain in a moment, but it is called the perfect makeup tag. So if you want to see me talk about the perfect makeup, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Like I said, we have a tag today, but this is one that we created. Yes, I said we. The other mastermind behind this video is Patty Alonzo, so we are going to be collaborating for this video. I will say though, she really was the mastermind behind this. This was kind of her idea. I just like chimed in like one or two suggestions. So she was the creative one here. But anyways, if you do not know Patty, Patty has a channel very similar to mine. We have definitely the same taste in makeup. And one of my favorite things about Patty's channel are her looks. So if you are looking for tutorials of your favorite palettes go check her channel out she does like five looks with one palette right now she's currently going through her pat mcgrath palettes and not only does she create these videos but she creates some of the most beautiful looks i don't watch too many tutorials nowadays but i watch her tutorials because i just love the way that she pairs colors together her and i are on a similar just going full-time on youtube right now journey we went full-time at about the same time so it's been really exciting to be on this journey with her and of course she is kind, she is creative, and she is funny. So make sure you go check out Patty's video. And if you are from Patty's video, hello, I'm Morgan. <laughs> Anyways, the perfect makeup tag. So we are going to go through 10 questions that all have to do with the perfect makeup item. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you watch all my videos, there's not going to be a lot of surprises. I don't hold back from you guys. If I love a product, you will know about it and I will talk about it repetitively. So just be aware of that. But without further ado, let's start off with question number one. Which primer creates the perfect base? Now for me and my skin needs, it has to be hydration. And while I love a lot of primers, there's nothing to prep my skin better than a good moisturizer. So for my choice, I decided to go with Charlotte's Magic Cream. And I was toggling between a few different hydrating primers, but ultimately I decided I wanted a moisturizer that was wasn't too thick but also wasn't too thin and the Charlotte's Magic Cream is right in between. I find that it soaks into the skin really quickly and just creates the perfect base for makeup, the perfect level of hydration. It really creates an instant hydration but because of the thickness of it, it doesn't create like short-term hydration. It creates long-term hydration for the entire day so that is why I love this. Not only does it create that hydration right at application but it holds all the way until the end of the day so even though this isn't primer. I use this as a primer. Question number two. Which foundation has the perfect finish? If you watch my videos, this should be of no surprise to you, but there is no other finish, in my opinion, like the Dior Air Flash spray foundation. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a bridal makeup artist. I use airbrush on my clients because I, I love the airbrush finish on the skin. The finish that this gives is just like airbrush makeup. Now, I don't actually spray my face. I go in with a beauty sponge and I put it on the sponge, but there's something about this finish that is so skin-like, but it also lasts a really long time. It's really lightweight on the skin, and again, it just looks like skin. At the end of the day, it still has that skin-like appearance. It's, it's a little bit more matte. It's not exactly a glowy foundation, but I really like that it makes the skin look perfected, airbrushed, smooth, and still like lightweight. You can't see any of the makeup really sitting on the skin. It is pretty expensive, especially because I'll be honest, this doesn't last the longest. I've been through many of these foundations, but the finish is so perfect that I will buy it every time I run out. Question number three, which concealer has the perfect coverage? And my opinion on this has changed over the years. I've liked different levels of coverage, but I personally think at the current moment with what I'm into with my skin and the current condition of my skin, it has to be the Dior Forever Skin Correct. Fun fact, the first few times I used this, I did not like it. I told you on my channel and videos that it was not worth the hype. Um, it's not my favorite concealer, but it is a really nice one. And I like this because the coverage is very realistic. It's very skin-like. And what I mean by that is it does doesn't give you a perfecting coverage. You can still see a little bit of the skin underneath, but it evens everything out and it 
gets rid of a true dark color if you're using it on your under eyes. So you can see maybe a little bit of a shadow there, but I'm not really that worried about it. I'm not looking for anything full coverage anymore. I'm not into coverage like the Tarte Shape Tape because this gives coverage, but it's not too much. And it also works really great all over the face just to even everything out. So it gives, like I said, a skin-like coverage. I would say probably in the medium range, you can build it up a little bit more towards high, but it gives coverage without giving too much coverage. Question number four, which powder gives the perfect blur? I mean, I have never had a setting powder to make my skin look so poreless. And that has to be the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. This is initially made for the under eyes, but I certainly use it all over. This is the most amazing setting powder. It is so lightweight and I mean, the center of my face right here looks poreless. This really completes any makeup look. It finishes off, but the problem is it's actually very soft. This breaks all the time. I've broken like two of them already. It's perfect, so I keep repurchasing them. So if you are looking for a pricey setting powder that breaks all the time, I recommend this because ugh, the blur is so good. It's just seamless. Question number five, which bronzer has the perfect undertone? And for me, even I was surprised by this pick, but I just love the color of it so much. This is the Scott Barnes Soleil bronzer in the shade Bondi Beach. I really don't have a bronzer that's like this color. Normally I prefer a neutral bronzer, but this one has some warmth to it while still remaining on the neutral side. This is the bronzer that I have on, and I just feel like this is the perfect undertone for a summer bronzer. It's warmer than a lot of my other bronzers without being too orange. The undertone really is perfect to give that sun-kissed glow while also being a little bit contoury because there is some neutralness to it. So I really love this bronzer. I think it's the perfect color. It is amazing. It's really expensive. <laughs> but you get so much product. It's the size of my head. But look at that. It's just... Perfect. I love it. I need to pull it out more this summer. Question number six, which blush is the perfect shade? And for me, my favorite blush shade is pink. So I had to go look through my pinky blushes and ultimately I decided that my favorite shade of blush, the perfect pinky shade is the Suasu Radiance Blusher Blush Radiance in the shade number one, Pink Harmony. And it is quite a bright pink, but for me it is perfect because it is a little bit more on the sheer side, so it's not going to look as crazy in the pan as it does on your cheek, but it gives like a fresh, youthful, pinky glow to the skin that just livens up the face. I love it so much and not everybody's going to like my choice for this because not everybody is into pink blushes but I just love the fresh youthful look it gives the face and this is the perfect shade of pink in my opinion. Number seven which highlighter has the perfect finish. I definitely was going through Dior's, I was going through my Charlotte Tilbury's, Natasha Denona but ultimately I decided to go back to an old favorite for this selection and that is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. I love the finish of this highlighter, okay? I find it to be a rather blurring highlighter. Now, it's not super blurring, you know. I have texture right here. You are able to see it's not going to make texture disappear. It's a highlighter, but there's something about the way that this blends into the skin. Like, you see this glow? It's such an underrated highlighter. I have loved it ever since I bought it. And it even looks really smooth in the pan. Like you can tell this is a smoothing highlight. So I haven't talked about this guy in a while. So I had to bring it back out. It's definitely one of my favorite highlighters with the most perfect finish. Number eight, which lipstick has the perfect formula. For me, and it's been this way for years, that is the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in the kissing formula. So Charlotte Tilbury has a matte formula, she has a kissing formula, she has a few others, but the kissing is the best, I would say. The kissing formula is not matte. It does have a glow to it, but it's not a super glowy, messy lipstick. It still has a little bit of matteness and thickness in there that helps the longevity of it. So it's a shiny lipstick that doesn't get all over your face and it lasts a really long time because it's nice and thick. I'm currently wearing In Love with Olivia, which is this great everyday pink. 
one of my favorite lipsticks and you can see it gives hydration it's extremely comfortable on the lips it lasts a long time and it gives you that beautiful glow you don't even need a gloss but you can always add a gloss on top if you want some extra shine but look at that it just makes the lips look so healthy so for me this is the best formula question number nine which palette has the perfect shimmers now you already know what I'm about to say. There is no one specific palette with the perfect shimmers. There is a specific brand with the perfect shimmers, and that is Mother Pat, Miss Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath Labs, the best shimmers in the game. Now, not only does she not have one palette that I can choose from, but she also doesn't have one formula that I can choose from. So I'm going to use the Divine Rose One palette for my example. Now this is one of her more subdued palettes. She has some other palettes with some crazy, shimmery, reflective, glittery shades, but I'm just gonna use this one for example because it has a nice mix of formulas. So currently I am wearing this one right here. This is one of her duo chrome. These are called Blitz Astrals. She has three in here so they're not as glittery I know the lighting you can't really see the finishes but you'll be able to see them in the demo really beautiful very smooth under the skin and really just gives a gorgeous glow that you can't get with other shimmers it's not too thick she also has a regular shimmer formula that is so extremely metallic and pigmented and thick and gives you great coverage love that and then finally she has probably my favorite of her shimmer formulas it's her glitter formula just just absolutely insane on the lid they make you look like a disco ball in the best way possible reflective but still not too messy she has the most unique shades so in general I couldn't pick one palette just from the brand as a whole she has the best shimmers and we are finally down to the last question number 10 which palette has the perfect color story now this one was a challenge for me I always talk about color stories and how important they are for me and which brands come out with the best color stories so I actually didn't go by the prettiest color story there's lots of color stories in my collection that I'm like oh, yes but I was thinking in terms of use, what's the perfect color story? What palette contains every single shade that I would need to create a specific look that stays true to a good color story? Literally a story. And for me, even I didn't expect to pick this, but I truly do love the color story of this. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. I know he came out with that new palette. I didn't purchase it for this asking. Might purchase it later on. But the reason that I chose this is because it literally has every neutral tone that I could imagine and need. And what's amazing about it is he curated it in a 12 pan palette. It's not like a really big palette, you know? You really have to be thoughtful with every color added in here. And I feel like I can see why each color was placed in here. You have a cream, you have kind of a transition tone, more of a mid-tone transition, deeper tones, you have some more warm tones, some orange tones. Every color has a place in here. There's not one or two shades where I'm like, mm, they're kind of close. Like, no, every shade has a purpose in being here and they do something different to the look. So for me, this is a perfect color story. It's a perfect everyday color story, it has every every color that you could need within this color story and even though I love my colors I love my purples I even probably you know prettiness wise I like the divine rose color story better but as far as perfection it has to go to this one all right you guys there we have it those were the 10 questions for the perfect makeup tag I definitely want to hear your answers if you have a channel make sure you do this make sure you tag Patty and I or you can answer in the comments down below. I would love to read them. And of course, if you haven't checked out Patty's channel, go ahead and do that. I wouldn't recommend her channel unless I knew you would love it. And you will. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.